Hey Capricorns, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Let's see what's going on with you guys. So Capricorn, I'll leave information about what decks of cards I use in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings. Please um, do remember that the reading can go either way because we have cross watchers. So, you know, use your own discernment there. Okay, let's see. We have Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. And we have, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all its inhabitants. Okay, that's Idriel. Opal, your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and angels. Okay, so seems like you have a lot of support going on for your family right now um, as you are a light worker because you're needed to shine your light here. So... Maybe, you know, you feel like I don't get en enough time to spend with, you know, my family and things like that. Or you're worried about your children or your animals. But, you know, your angels are saying, look, we, we got you. We got you. So let's see here what the cards have to say. Okay, page of cups here. So I see um, a message coming in for you guys. Um... I feel like the message is from somebody with a letter M, A, R and S coming in. A very loving type of message, a soft message as, you know, as well from your angels here. Messages of support right now coming in for you. So it could even be your children saying, yeah, go for your dreams, you know. It's okay. So it could be an apology from somebody as well, okay. Let's see. The devil. So here you are looking all fabulous here. Um, but I feel like you may feel like you're doing the wrong thing, but I don't actually think you're doing the wrong thing. I think it's just about, you know, you being yourself, you stepping into yourself, yourself awakening here, as this is the Capricorn card. If it's devil energy, it might be um, somebody younger than you, um, fancies you, desiring you. Um, maybe a younger water sign here, but it's somebody with soft energy coming towards you, um, admiring you, being nice to you. So that's good. They, you know, they feel like they've got a strong bond with you. Uh, that's the devil card, you know, a real strong bond connection. Um, so it might be somebody being attracted to you at this time. Um, the world here. Yeah. So it looks like a new cycle could begin for you guys. So if you've been waiting on a, an apology or something like that, that comes in and enables you to move forward here with the world card and open new doors of possibility. The chariot. Yeah. So success coming in after this apology or these kind words of encouragement coming forward here. Um, I love the, these arcanas because, you know, the devil card depends on what cards are around it and that's why it doesn't really feel like bad energy to me i feel like you know if you're feeling yourself and you're looking good that can be venus energy you might feel like oh, i'm being a bit naughty but no embrace it and take it on you know this is opening new doors for you your confidence and it brings success taking a new direction here getting in the chariot maybe taking on new um exciting things new adventures maybe um getting out more buying a car things like that with the chariot movement here from your current situation so it might be that you are you know have a new home in the future or you could be looking for a new car travel things like that four of pentacles some of you are quite happy where you are this could be somebody that you have a very strong connection with that you know it hasn't been able to let go in a long time so this the connection has a strong foundation and that's why it can be children as well okay because children are our soulmates and teach us a lot here um, so this can be, you know, somebody was unable to let go of the connection and they're coming forward with this message now or an apology. 
Um, it can be children, grown children, you know, coming back into your life and trying to give you strong encouragement to go for new goals and things like that. Laying a new foundation. The tower, right, it's reverse. So here, I feel like um, it should be a surprise to you, but it won't be that this person is actually apologizing and couldn't let you go. So maybe they've been trying to contact you and you've been ignoring them or something like that um, because it doesn't seem like a surprise to you. And the changes that you embark with this world card won't be so big and it won't be bad if you like. Um, it'll be quite positive here, these changes. You know, um, this transformation that you're about to step into, I feel like it's your choice. You know, you have an opportunity to go in new directions here and be successful if you choose to. You know, maybe it's a dream you've had since a child with the Page of Cups there and you now start to lay the foundations on it and go for your dreams. Let's see here. The Four of Cups reversed and the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this Four of Cups here, we know this can be a feeling of rejection or that an offer's not coming. We see it reversed because I feel like you're no longer going to wait if you are watching for a Capricorn and you miss them or you're sorry or, you know, I feel like you're tired of waiting for the Capricorn to come towards you. So you might take action here um, with the Knight of Swords because I feel like, you know, you want to communicate to somebody. And again, look, this person looks quite sorry. So Capricorn, somebody could be tired of waiting on you coming forward. Um, and now they reach out to you. But, you know, the Knights are about action. So this is definitely incoming um so it doesn't matter if you're a cross watch or a capricorn it's somebody incoming towards you is what i'm saying somebody messaging towards you this is somebody honest as well this can be a new relationship beginning your children like look go for it i want you to be happy uh things like that okay it could be um avoiding a crisis at home as well um by getting up and taking quick action so let's say you know you get a leak in your house then take quick action to avoid this tower moment nine of wands yeah somebody it's because i said uh, a leak right um somebody's got their guard up here it's more about themselves okay so if somebody hasn't come forward and apologized to you and they was the one in the wrong they're doing it in a self-protection sort of energy like I don't want to, you know, walk into a barrage of um, arguments, you know, with somebody who's been sat thinking about this for a long time. And this person might feel, well, you've got so much to say to them. And they're kind of, you know, they're kind of scared of you here, I feel, um, what you have to say to them. And I think that's probably why they haven't made an offer yet. Um, with the four of cups reversed. It's probably why they haven't come in. So they're not going to let you know they're on their way or they're going to, you know, not going to give any signs that they're going to message you. They're just going to like turn up because they're trying to catch you as unprepared as possible so that they have sort of a fighting chance against you with words here. So it's like maybe bumping into somebody um, as well, having a very strong conversation with somebody who maybe needed to apologize to you for a long time. Or you could have been waiting for an offer for, from them, you know, and it didn't happen. So then you're going to take action and be like, hey, what's going on? Why did you block me? You know, what's what's going on? Um, and I feel like somebody expects it to be a problem, but it's not. OK, because we see the tower averted there. Queen of Wands. Yeah, again, with this taking action. So I feel like. This person probably has been waiting or expecting you to, you know, communicate with them, ask them these questions. So they are open to it. And I feel, you know, the if you are open and honest and, you know, full of integrity, I feel like you'll get the answers that, you know, you've been looking for or get the information you require, whatever it is here. 
Um, I feel like you're both expecting each other to be like blocking each other or at loggerheads and the conversation actually goes quite smoothly here. Somebody's expecting to be rejected but I feel like you won't, right? This is something you've got to do now. Um, have this conversation, be open and honest with each other. Um, you know, maybe you had a house together and things needed sorting out in the house and you think, oh, I've been dreading seeing them because, you know, we have to divide our property. But both of you come together quite openly. Um, I'm feeling like this open arms here, but you're expecting the worst. Okay, guys, good luck.